Hi, this is Coach Jeff Berger at our dojo in Salem, Massachusetts. And today I want to do um, shoulder destructions. And it has nothing to do with destroying the other guy's shoulder. We're going to use our shoulder for the destruction. So in the attack the attack uh, video, we showed some um, some different types of destructions. A lot, most of those were from Filipino martial arts. The Filipino artists tend to do those really well, so I, I steal a lot of their stuff. But what I want you to do right now is uh, I want you to think like when you're evading that punch and you're doing snap or you're doing slip or you're doing bob or you're doing bob and you're doing that shoulder roll and you're doing that stuff like on the double end bag, you have the bag and there's a bunch of you in a rope holding it, start playing really close, like let it get really close to you and then actually start tapping it with your shoulder. So when Aaron's throwing a punch at my face, I can slip, he throws that same punch, right, I can slip. The cross comes, whether it's jab cross, right, or not. But see what I did there? I tapped it with my shoulder. So he's throwing that jab, and I'm not just going to slip. Maybe I can get a hit in here, but if I'm just that little bit far away, or he's got some reach on me, I can parry it into my shoulder. And if I'm, if it's, well, I'm up tall, right? Okay, you say, well, he's not punching shoulder height. So I parry it down a little bit into my shoulder, or... If my stance is a little bent, when he throws it, bam, I throw my shoulder up. So I'm putting my shoulder where my chin was. I like to have this hand here to parry it into there just for safety because I've had you know, ricochet off and hit me. But it still took most of the sting out of it. Same thing at one, two comes, one, two. People do this shoulder roll. Now I want you to go one, bam, and throw your shoulder into the tip of that hand. And when you're practicing with people, Make sure they have a glove on and don't do this too fast. Without the glove, it might actually do damage to the bones in the hand. With the glove on, you're gonna tweak his wrist, okay? And you get good at this, he throws that, because I like that Philly shell, he throws that jab cross, and I can do that without even parrying it there, but I feel better, and you'd probably be better off to have this hand up here and parry your shoulder into it. And uh, these, these shoulder butts are great, not just for that, but like, um, I'm going to put you on this side so we can see on the camera. When you're clinched up with people, right, and you, you don't have any place to move, boom, right? I can hit him in the head with that. I'm going to drop that down just so I don't hit him in the face. But even just to make room, I'll hit him with my shoulder, right? Or if we're over here, and I'll hit him with my shoulder. And it's great because if I hit him with my right shoulder, then it just loaded up my left arm. If I hit him with my left shoulder, well, that set me up for my right arm. So uh, work on your shoulder butts, and it's, uh, it's really good because if you can get that violent snap this close to your body, just, you know, sending it down your body is even better. And even um, if you're clinched up with somebody, right, just, you know, violently, <coughs> you know, slamming that elbow into their face. So um, work on making, weaponizing your shoulder.